So Magento layered navigation is a brilliant concept in Magento Web Store and it's very useful many times. Um, it's useful if you're creating, suppose that if you're creating a clothes store, you're uh, opening a, um, let's say, t-shirt store or something like that. So you can put like uh, your store product must may have um, size attribute, uh, color attribute or um, product have some categories so such can size attribute is there and what will be the brand is there such kind of attribute are very useful and you will see such kind of attributes and filter in almost all the popular e-commerce store nowadays so what will happen suppose that if you're opening your web store and you want to include the layer navigation within your magento um, product magento um, categories so the easy way to create magento layer navigation is that in built part of the magento system so whenever you are creating a attribute or category you will see an option uh, do you want to include that attribute or category within the layer navigation or not that's okay that's not an issue and it will work fine but the problem is the problem with the layered navigation filter in every time when you will check it or filter the data it will reload the page and it will uh, redirect to you a new page that's a very bad from the user experience point of view suppose that a user come into your web shop and he just open a category or just click on a category and then there will be a lot of or it, it may happen that suppose that if a, a customer come into your shop and he just search something and then a lot of results will come and you will see a lot of um, products and filters over there but what will happen suppose that if will some someone someone just click on an attribute and then it will redirect to a new page then it will be a huge issue because you know uh, redirection is not uh, very good in terms of when you are redirecting your customer from one page to another you are losing your sales you're losing your sales conversion and that's why we invented this awesome magento layer navigation ajax filter and what this module does is brilliant um, let me show you the demo first so what you need to do if you want to check the demo just click on this demo button and you will see so I already written here just please choose option in shop by left pan for the demo of just layered filter navigation so let's say I just click on the price or I just click on the mar marketable service and you will see right here there's the Ajax loader and all the data means you're not you can see the page if you will see let me break down if you will see you will see there page is not re re reloading means it is not redirecting you can see right here the web page is always there if you will click on the price it's still even you can click on the pagination it's still the page is there so th your complete category is based on ajax and that's a huge huge uh, benefit for your web shop to convert your sale to how to install the module is very easy what you need to do whenever you will purchase the module um, you will see um, after the download of the module you will see a folder ajax filter and within that ajax filter you will see there's a app and skin folder so what you need to do you just need to drag and drop the app and skin folder from your local desktop to your host or server into the Magento root system and that's it if you just need to min you just need to clear the cache or refresh the cache for the Magento and if you're getting a 404 error that's already ex I already explained to you many times it happens because of uh, because of uh, it's not resources are not allocated properly so what you can do you just need to do a login and log out and everything will work fine and that's it and if you're having any problem with the module or any 
uh, thing is not working or any doubt please feel free to contact us uh, please visit webcool.com or create a ticket at webcool.com slash ticket thanks for watching the video